North turned to professional ultra running five years ago. She has logged in over 20,000 kilometers. Nothing comes easily though. She has found her ideal training grounds in southern Greece, south of the city of Sparta. Taking advantage of the beautiful weather and breathtaking landscape. always having her two running companions with her. You always have to stay motivated. Uh, it's good to look at your mistakes, to look at what went wrong, to see how you can improve yourself. The only way to improve is uh, to always test yourself and to see what you can do. The world was struck by the corona pandemic and ultra running was no exception. To maintain top physical condition, it became more of a mental battle than anything else. There was no way to know when the next race might be and if it was possible to participate with very strict travel restrictions. Nevertheless, Nora kept training and building her endurance and strength using whatever resources she could. swimming and anything else she could do. Indoor cycling, she was even given special permission to use the stadium. Due to the new COVID-19 virus, the following measures come into effect. Suddenly a ray of hope, Barcelona, 12-hour race. With only a week's notice and very limited preparations, Nor was very happy to be invited. A race only for a selected number of runners, as Spain was one of the most severely affected areas in Europe. Running in the Olympic Stadium Barcelona was a true delight. Nora set off. She set in a good, solid pace for the first four or five hours. With your loving, 
there ain't nothing that I can't adore. The way I'm running with you, honey, means we can break every law. I find it funny that you're the only one I never looked for. There is something in your loving that tears down my walls. I wasn't ready there. You know, not all races go well. During the race, you always have to rethink things and replan things. Unfortunately, some stomach issues started to set in, making it a real battle to push through. Not being one to give in easily, she managed to turn things around again. So yes, I think uh, the end of 2021, the beginning of 2022, Nora has shown her dominance in the field of ultra running. This could be due to the fact that uh, during COVID she had uh, time to train, she worked on her weaknesses, she's had some exceptional races this year. So Nora did 15 races in 11 months with exceptional results. Well, there was a big uh, hype about the, the weather conditions. It was constantly playing on the news to be careful not to go out, not to train during this uh, hot weather. And the Mela Vili was the first test uh, for Nor in the heat. The temperatures on the day of the race was above 40. Race organizers uh, announced for the first time in Greece the race was going to be postponed due to the heat uh, conditions. 
Temperatures are expected to climb into the low to high It feels like we are standing on the surface of the sun. There was a lot of uh, happiness and joy to be at the starting line of a race again. So you could feel a bit a sense of uh, people being a bit too worried with the weather conditions of how they were to handle this race. So Nora has been living in Greece for quite a few years now. She's uh, well loved by the Greek community and the ultra running uh, community. The race started at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, probably at the hottest time of the day. Uh, many runners did drop out of this race. I think a percentage of about 50% of the runners uh, only managed to finish this race. Extreme conditions, even for Greece. What uh, separated this course from other courses was that there was a mixture of uh, road and uh, trail running. Something Nora is not really comfortable with uh, running on uh, trails. And the past couple of years we've been uh, training uh, together and doing a lot of training together. And we have managed to hit the trails quite a few times. There's a community of ultra runners uh, in Sparta, Greece. Nor has been a big part of this for the last couple of years. Everybody has become really close uh, to Nora and uh, following, following her throughout these years. Another race that uh, Nora took part in uh, to prepare her for the 2021 Spartathlon was a new race from Sparta to Ethio. Uh, which is a 59 kilometer race starting from the city of Sparta at the statue of Leonidas and it was another day and uh, one of the most enjoyable races that uh, Nora had. To be a great athlete or runner, versatility and fun is one of the key elements of Nora's success. She enjoys training with friends. She did the first half uh, very cautiously and the second half, uh, she tested out herself. This gave, gave her great confidence for the Spartathlon that was to follow in the 20, after 25 days. Strengthening core at the gym, meditating on the beach, or trail running with friends is what ultra running is about. Nora puts in a, little, a lot of different aspects in her training. Yoga, physical therapy every, every week. Man, the only boy who could ever teach me 
I've had the honor to do many training sessions with Nora. What's really impressed me from um, one of the first sessions that we've done together, we usually choose to do hard sessions together and that's uh, why we do them get together, to help out each other. Uh, she's one that does not fear pain. She can really push herself hard and she will not stop. Even though she was very tough in her interval trainings, our first three long runs, Nora never finished uh, these runs. If she feels something to protect herself from uh, injury, she'd definitely stop. And this did occur with us on three, uh, three occasions. Our first uh, introduction with Nora was when she was when she finished her first Spartathlon, being the youngest woman to ever finish uh, the Spartathlon. And uh, since then, she's been in every Spartan's heart. It's uh, the history of the Spartathlon begins with uh, the day runner Philippides, starting from uh, Athens and running to Sparta to ask for help from the Spartans. In the history books, it's uh, said that Philippides took about a day and a half to reach Sparta, which would be about 36 hours, which is the time that Spartan gives you to finish this race. The race begins seven o'clock in the morning under the Acropolis, and runners have 36 hours to reach Sparta, finishing at 7 o'clock in the evening. Starting through the center of Athens, the pollution makes it very difficult in the, the morning traffic and pollution. And as the day gets by, heat also sets in, and it could be a really big problem for, for most runners. Due to the heat wave, most runners dropped out during the race in the first the first part of the day up to Corinth because of the extreme weather conditions. This is some of the conditions that runners face in the Spartathlon. You'd see runners on the side of the road uh, vomiting, having stomach issues, uh, muscle cramps, crazy. Everywhere you'd look there would be runners on the ground, runners sitting on chairs, runners that were dizzy, runners that were giving in the bib numbers. Another thing that makes the Spartathlon one of the toughest races on earth is its cutoff times. There are 75 aid stations and runners have to be at, a, at these aid stations at a certain time. There's these difficult cutoff times which makes it most difficult for runners if there are some uh, problems during the race. So even though you might be having a great race, uh, stomach issues, muscle cramps, getting tired at night and just wanting to sleep could really make it difficult for you to, to fall behind because you have to reach the next uh, aid station. You have to be there on time. It's an experience that's not very easy to, to say how someone can feel. There are so many different feelings running through your mind. We always prepare for for our best race, but sometimes things don't go always as planned, and that's where uh, being a real ultra runner really comes comes in, facing these difficulties, knowing that things won't always uh, be the way we plan them. Right 
Another difficult uh, point in the Spartathlon is climbing up uh, the mountain, climbing up and over the mountain, which most runners usually reach at nighttime. And the weather conditions again change. Could be extreme cold during the night. So these changes in weather conditions can be brutal on runners. Reaching spot for the last 20 kilometers is a downhill uh, course. And you know, before the race, everyone's talking about how easy it is when you finally reach 20 kilometers before Sparty. You're so close, it's downhill, it's easy. But if uh, the race has taken a toll on your body, many runners have even dropped out of the race, even uh, inside the city of Sparta. She's truly loved by the people here in Sparti. When they see her approaching, they feel like, even though she's from Finland, that she's she's our girl. She's uh, she's from Sparta. She's she's a Spartan. Nyt tämä viimeinen Spartatonihan oli kyllä niin nappi, että sitä on kyllä vaikea parantaa. Mutta koskaan ei voi sanoa, että ei parantaa, mutta niin aika näyttää, mihin se, mihin se riittää. Nyt on kertoa Spartatonissa tuommoinen jymypaukku saavutettu meillä, niin, niin, niin siinä tulee hyviä äkkiä semmoinen, että kun mulla on mitali siellä, niin seuraava tavoite on jos voitto. Se, on, se menee siinä peli, periaatteessa peli ja pelihengessä, että se lähtee aina, että kaikki tai ei mitään. Että niin. Siinä on se epäonnistuminen sitten paljon suurempi mahdollisuus. Ja mä muistan itse, kun juoksin, niin kun mä olin kerran kolmo, niin seuraavana vuonna mä yritin, että no, kun mä olin kerran kolmas, niin mä yritän sitä voittoa, mutta ne, ne oli unelmissani puoleen matka, mutta sitten se mureni täytyy, että hyvä, että perille. Että kyllä mä luulen, että tässä vielä jonkunnäköisiä jymypaukkuja tulee. Sata se MM-visa niin ykkösprioitiksi ja, ja sitten siihen täytyy kuitenkin, että maratonin nopeutta täytyy saada ja askel pituutta ja muutenkin muuttaa vähän harjoitusta, että maratonin pitää mennä 2.42-2.48 silloin välille, koska satasella täytyy juosta semmoista 4.15-4.25 kilometrin vauhtia ja sillä ne ollaan sitten loppuaika on 7. 15.7.20, niin kuuesakissa maailmassa ihan puhtaasti. All along it was a fever. A cold sweat, hot headed believer. I threw my hands in the air, said, Show me something. He said, If you dare come a little closer. Of course, uh, after succeeding our goals, there's uh, nothing like the feeling of having a successful race. Uh, if you run a marathon, a successful marathon, you'll probably be really happy about this for a couple of days. If you run a really successful ultra marathon, the joy lasts for weeks and maybe even months. It's uh, uncomparable. And 
under pouring rain and with a 1,700 meter incline, this race was no easy race. Surprisingly, after her success at Spartathlon, she had another another success and setting the new course record and a new 50 kilometer split. After the race, time to relax in Aqua Petra, which is Sonora's favorite resort. Se tasaisen vauhdin ylläpitäminen ja sen vauhdin seuraaminen ja, ja niin sitä kautta sitten ehkä osin voidaan tulla tuohon mittariin ja, ja siihen treeni seurata ja tämmöisiä asioita. No, sulla on käytössä meiltä toi Taksin Neo 2T Trainer. Joo, todellakin on, on käytössä ja niin kun, riippuen tietenkin harjoittelukaudesta, mutta niin ihan peruskuntokaudella, niin kyllä se niin kun, on mun mielestä todella hyvä. Tota, niin lisätreeni juoksijalle on pyöräilytreeni. Ja tietenkin sit treenerin päällä niin se on aika turvallista ja kontrolloituu ja näin. Että kyllä se helpottaa aika paljon sitä niin treeniarkea, että on, on tosi hyvä tre, treeneri käytössä. Et mullahan on sitten noin Karminin vattipolkimat siinä myöskin kiinni. Että kyllä saa aika paljon sitä dataa sitten, että mitä tulee sitten ihmeteltyäkin välillä, että mitä, mitä siinä treenissä tuli tehtyä. Mutta Käytätkö sä erillistä sykevyötä ja jos niin Joo, kyllä mä käytän oikeastaan 90 prosenttia mun tota, harjoituksista. Mulla on aina sykevyä. Tänä vuonna sitten tuli sulle kyllä niinku erittäin hienoja tuloksia. Ja just tässä lehdessä nyt on sitten niinku hyvä, hyvä yhteenveto tuosta Spartasta. Että aika alkumetreiltä säkin on tullut messissä. Kyllä. Muistan elävästi silloin, kun se kanssa tulitte käymään joka kertaa. Oli aika mielenkiintoinen lähteä sitten viemään niinku tämmöistä projekteja eteenpäin. Silloin kymmenen vuotta tehty menestyksillä. Ja... No, mutta meidän on hieno jatkaa yhteistyötä tästä sitten ensi vuoteen ja tulevaan. Ja mielenkiintoista nähdä, mitä, mitä se tuo tullessaan. Ennusmerkit on hyvät ja tästä on hyvä jatkaa. So Nora was out on a Monday morning in a hard training session. When she gets home, she receives a phone call from the organizers in Tel Aviv, inviting her to come to race in Tel Aviv in a 12-hour race. This race is by far one of uh, Nora's uh, most enjoyable races with uh, friendly people, cheerful faces at the race. And it was also a great opportunity for Nora to witness Alexei Sorokin's world record. For Nora, it just wasn't her day. So Tel Aviv was an opportunity for Nora to uh, rest herself, uh, to enjoy herself and prepare herself for the Sparta City Ultra. For the first time in the city of Sparta, there was a 6-hour, 12-hour and 24-hour race. And this was the first time that Nora had some time to prepare herself well in advance. The Spartan runners did an amazing job to pull this venue together. And it was a real honor for everyone to be at the starting line. The first hours went by flying. Nora broke the 50k record, the six hour record, the 100 kilometer record. It was a great opportunity for the citizens of Sparta to really enjoy Nora and to see her race uh, up and down the streets of Sparta for 12 hours. There's always the possibility when you start an altar race that you might not finish. Hello, Sunny. 
that's something that every ultra runner at one point is gonna have to come and accept and it doesn't make you any less of a runner having a dnf when weather conditions aren't ideal it's raining it's very cold it's gonna be hot but you gotta get up lace your shoes and go out and get running and you know you never regret it as soon as you put on your shoes and you leave the door there's never gonna be a day that you regretted going out for a run i think it's that feeling of satisfaction you know after every run uh, that keeps you going on day after day and i think everyone wants to everybody wants to see uh, how far they can take this and uh, how good they could become so it was a record it was a record <laughs> Oops, little feet. Pretty little chick wherever you go. <laughs> <laughs> 